So a lesson that I learned on um, how to act with unconditional love and what that means. I was uh, for a long time uh, praying and desiring that all my actions were coming um, from a space of unconditional love. And so, like I said in the previous talk, I was given all the opportunities <laughs> to uh, love unconditionally. Um, so all the conditions that I had and all the preferences that I had and challenges rose to the surface for me to love um, if I so chose to. And so in that time frame, I would get into a situation and I would ask, I would um, say, okay, what is the, what is the loving thing to do in this situation? And sometimes I couldn't tell. What was the loving action? What was the loving response? Um, and I realized that that was really hard for me to determine and to figure out all the time. And then it, it dawned in my awareness <laughs> that there is no one action that is the right action to do. There's no one action that is the loving action to do in any given circumstance. The loving action is to become in a state of love, a, uh, an intention of love, to act, speak, and think from a space of love rather than fear, rather than hatred, rather than anger, rather than blame. And from that state of mind, from that state of heart, from that state of being, act. And sometimes the act is um, fierce. Sometimes it's, it's sweet. Sometimes it's um, silence. Sometimes it's stillness. Sometimes it's pro uh, moving in a direction. So on the surface, on the outside, it can look many, many different ways. But on the inside is where it counts. On the inside and the space, the intention, the heart from which you're coming, from which you're acting or not acting speaking or being silent. That's what determines whether your action is loving. The space from which you come determines the quality of the action. And the quality of the action determines the outcome. So a note on acting from a space of love. <laughs>